Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see under this numerical methods a new concept that is numerical integration. What is this numerical integration and how it is going to help full to find a numerical problems? We will see. This is the process of obtaining approximately the value of the definite integral. So, what is definite integral here? i is equal to integration from a to b y dx. So, here what is this here? Without actually integrating the function but using the value of y at some points of x equally spaced over the region what here a to b okay so here we if, so we need to uh, simplify this integral without actually integrating the function but only using the values of y at some point of x equally spaced what here a and b so we'll use the value of a and b and we'll simplify uh, this numerical integration uh, under this uh, process here so we have few of the a rule or else uh, uh, methods uh, to simplify uh, this numerical integration. So basically uh, I can say that this i is equal to integration a to b y dx uh, is nothing but uh, uh, it is a numerical result. So here we have some common steps for applying uh, this rules. So we have this interval interval a comma b uh, having what here if you can say that in general it is divided into n equal parts uh, and uh, with uh, width with what here h so we'll see that uh, in terms of uh, steps here so steps so I can say that the first step we need to remember here as the interval the interval that is a comma b is divided is divided into n equal parts n equal parts of width okay this is very important of width h where h where this h formula is given by where this h is nothing but b minus a divided by n. So, with the formula will be what here? b minus a. b is your this is a lower, a lower limit value from the integral and upper limit value or lower value, upper value. So, upper value minus lower value or lower limit, uh, up, upper limit minus lower limit value divided by n. n is nothing but number of given data here. So, here this the given data. So, x, x0, x1, x2 and all, they will be in terms of what here, here actually x is varies from x0, x1, x2, x3, so on, xn. So, here I will consider, let, let, I will consider the lower limit value that is a, I will consider as x0 value, okay, and x1 value will be in this x0, if you add h, we will get x1 that is nothing but x0 plus h similarly in x1 if you add h we will get x2 that is x2 is nothing but x0 plus h similarly for the last term xn if you add xn minus 1 plus h we will get xn so the last term I will consider as b so this is what here range so the x values are nothing but from a to b so the a to b values are nothing but it is the values are what here x0 x1 x2 x3 so on xn so this will be i can say that uh, it is placed equally that's x0 to xn will be placed equally that is nothing but n equal parts so now here uh, i want to uh, set a table so that uh, it will be easy for uh, solving the problem so what is that table let's see now you can uh, concentrate here now we have to set the values of y is equal to f of x at equidistance point of x and the values x y are tabulated so equidistance of x means what here so x value and y value 
will get from the question itself so here so this x naught will come here so x naught is nothing but it is a value of b uh, a and last value xn always will be what here value of b so a value will be initial value that is lower limit and xn will be is equal to last value that is upper limit of the given integral so next will come here what here after x naught x1 x2 so on xn so similarly if it is x naught uh, x naught it will be y naught y1 y2 so on we will get what here y n so this is a uh, tabulated data and uh, the in detail the following so how to apply this uh, table for the respective rules we will see one by one in the next lecture so these are the few introduction part of our what here numerical integration so as we have told uh, we have seen the integral it is given by i is equal to a integration 0 to a so this is lower limit upper limit so what i can say that initial value and the last value of the given limit and we are going to use the function of y here to and will apply the value of x so that we can get the respective results so the details and all we'll see in the future classes